Hey guys, today I want to talk about apostles and why they're so important before you leave the United States. A lot of guys, when they come over here, um, later on they realize that they want to either get a, a, a visa or they want to get married or whatever. And what they need is they need to have that apostles and these documents all apostled properly because otherwise they won't get accepted sometimes. Some of the offices over here require that you have an apostle. One of them is the PRA, the Philippine Retirement Authority, and also some of the other some of the other departments over here of the government may ask for that. Like if you go to get married or something, your your divorce documents should be apostled. You should have your birth certificate apostled. Get all your your your, your really important documents apostled. Now, what is an apostle? An apostle is like a high end notary. And believe it or not, when you get your apostle, you probably have to get the apostle documented first with an affidavit that needs to be notarized. And usually the people that apostle it do the notarization too. And then they apostle it, okay? Now, the, the apostle is pretty easy to get. Some people go to the State Department to get it done. Other people go to their, their state secretary. The state secretary is the easiest. And everybody always thinks that, um, and it goes, goes by state, most states will um do an apostle on almost all documents okay some people think that the federal documents have to be done by the the secretary of state it can still be done by your state secretary in your state like if you're in massachusetts you would go to the capitol or you can go to one of the other offices they have satellite offices too that you can go to now it's key to remember that m most of you people need to get this stuff done before you come here because a lot of you guys don't go back and then you, you, you call me and you say, hey, Steve, I need to get an apostle. How do I get it done? Well, some of these places will accept some things from the embassy, but some of them will not. So the apostle is really, really needed before you come here because some, some things are needed that you cannot get at the embassy. Okay, so remember that. Some documents, if you go to the embassy, they'll certify them or whatever. It's different than an apostle, I believe. And you, you need to have um, everything done properly over here because they're sticklers and they're very anal about everything being done properly over here. So just remember that. If you go to the PRA, they want everything a certain way. If you go to the BI a certain way, if you go to get married to the city hall or wherever you need to go, whatever documents they ask for, they're gonna look for them to be apostled in most cases. They're gonna want them apostled. Some of the stuff, like I said, you can get done at the embassy and they'll accept it but sometimes they will not keep that in mind so it's good to just get everything apostled that, that that's important all your divorce documents all your birth certificates that you want to bring over for your family or whatever whatever type of documents that you think you need done you know anything anything that you think needs to be done get it done okay if you think you're going to use it in the future get it apostled that way there you're safe now, apostles, like I said, they're really easy to get done. You go to your state secretary. If they will not do it, and most of them will do, even federal documents such as DD-214s, then you go to your, your secretary of state. Secre secretary of state will do them. Uh, it takes a long time to get them done there. That's why the state secretary is actually the best. Most of the time, state secretaries will do it within a week. Sometimes within hours at some of these satellite offices or whatever. They're really, really quick. And... It's usually better going to the satellite offices than it is to the main office, okay? Because it's quicker, faster. Uh, they usually go through faster for some reason. I'm not sure why, but they do. And just keep all this stuff in mind, guys. Documentation is important, and it's important that you get it apostled because once you leave the country, those documents don't mean squat because if you get it just if notarized that this is a you know true attest copy, that doesn't mean anything over here. You, you know, the apostle means that it's good from country to country okay that's what an apostle is it's like a, it's like a high-end notary that's what exactly what it is it's like a high-end notary from one country to the next telling them that it's a true attest copy that you're also swearing that's a true attest copy and and you know that's how it works apostles are very um important to other countries you know it's it's it it means that that document is a true copy you know, that you swore to it and the country can pretty much document that, that it's a true copy and, and that's why they'll accept it. So you telling them, hey, this is a tr real copy, why won't you accept it? That doesn't amount to anything, trust me. They're very they're very picky, there's they're sticklers over here for all this stuff, so make sure you have it. No matter what country you're going to, no matter what country you're gonna be an expat in, it's important to get documents apostled.
God bless, guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show.